Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing. In this video, we're gonna create an order tracker for Kartra so that we can keep track of all your orders on a nice clean spreadsheet that you could send to a fulfillment center or something along those lines, as opposed to Kartra's order tracking sheet, which looks like this. And it can get kind of confusing and overwhelming. And you know, you gotta, if, you, if you're working with a fulfillment center, you'd have to export this and send it to them and so on. Whereas with a Google Sheet, like I'm using here, it'll automatically update with the new order information, go straight to the fulfillment center and you know they can fulfill your orders for you and so on. So that's what we're gonna do here. So in order to do this, you're gonna need this tracker here and I'll show you how to get it in just a second. And you'll also need a Zapier account as well. If there's a free account, it's allows you to do like 100 zaps a month and a zap would basically fire every time an order is submitted so basically for 100 orders you could send them over to this spreadsheet here and then after 100 orders you got to pay in order to get more zaps and i think it's 20 dollars a month to start and it goes up from there so very affordable especially when it comes to keeping things nice and neat and organized and it'll save you a bunch of time probably so in order to get this sheet i'll have a link to it down below and what you want to do is open it up, go to file and make a copy. And you'll want to go ahead and make a copy of this file on your Google Drive. Now there's also going to be an option for you that says like add to Google Drive. That is not what you want. Okay. When you click add to Google Drive, you're going to essentially add my file to your Google Drive, which isn't what you want. You want to make a copy of my file on your Google Drive. Okay, so make a copy, make a copy, make a copy, and so on. So I'll just create a copy. So you see, making a copy. There we go. So this is the tracker that I have. You can of course update it, modify it to your to suit your needs. But we got order date, the product that somebody ordered, uh, how much they paid for it, first name, last name, email, phone, address, city, state, zip, country. And then I got these three fields at the end here. So process by, when, and notes. So this is for fulfillment. So when somebody goes and actually fulfills the order, they enter their name here, when they fulfilled the order, and then any extra notes, like they did expedited shipping, or they lost something, or any anything that's applicable you know, to the order. So this is our tracker, and we're going to connect it to Kartra. And we're going to use Zapier to do it. If you don't know how to connect to Zapier from Kartra. I have another video for that linked to down below. So go watch that real quick. It's like two minutes long. But since the Kartra Zapier connection is in beta mode, you have to go through it a certain way in order to gain access to it. So just wanted to point that out real quick. So assuming that you have access to Kartra on Zapier, we can get started. So I'm going to do Kartra order tracker demo. And then I'll go ahead and choose my trigger app, Kartra. Click on this option here. And then we can pop open show less common actions. And we want to go to when customer buys a product. So it triggers when a customer buys a product. Makes sense, right? That's what we want to track. Scroll on down here, hit save and continue. And make sure you're connected to your Kartra account. If you're not connected, you just hit connect connect an account and follow the instructions on the page. Very self-explanatory. You should have no problems with that. We'll hit save and continue. And now we gotta tell Zapier which funnels to watch and which products to watch. So we gotta pick our funnel out. I got my demo book funnel. And then we gotta select our product. And I wanna go with my demo book product because that's what I wanna send it for the fulfillment center. And then the product price point and I'll do any price, doesn't matter which price they're paying, I still want to take down that order. We'll hit continue now. And we'll go ahead and fetch and continue. So it's gonna go look for existing order information if it's out there. It says it found some, we can do view product and take a look at what it passed through. And so it looks like it just found test data because we got test, 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 and so on. So that's fine, we can run with that. So we'll scroll on down to continue. And now we want to go ahead for our action app. We want to choose Sheets, Google Sheets, right here. And we want to go ahead and create a spreadsheet row and save and continue. And go ahead and connect your Google Sheets account if it's not already connected. Again, you just click this little button here, follow the instructions on the page. Very simple, self explanatory, should have no issues. Save and continue. 
Now we gotta select the spreadsheet that we wanna go ahead and update. So hit the spreadsheet button and I'll select my spreadsheet that I have a copy of. And then the worksheet I wanna update, sheet one. And then it automatically pulls in all of the column headers. So we got order date, product, paid, first name, and there you go, order date, product, paid, first name, etc. So pretty self-explanatory. Now what we need to do is go ahead and assign values to these different fields. So for order date, what I actually wanna do is use a Zapier merge tag. So I'm gonna to go to search for Zapier, Zapier date. And I'll actually include this merge tag below this video so you don't have to do this Googling. But I'm looking for this Zap Meta Human Now. And what this will do is it'll send a human readable date into our spreadsheet. So for example, July 17th, 2018, and it also includes a timestamp as well. So it'd be 10.59 AM. So that way, you know, I could read the time. If you don't do something like this, it'll likely pass through like eight digits. And a computer can read those digits as a date and time, but a human probably can't. So that's why we use that merge code. All right, product hit the little box on the right hand side and we're gonna look for the product. So we got action details, transaction details, product name, so which is demo book in my case, so that looks right. We could scroll down a little more and see if there's any other thing we need to keep track of. So let's, and let, I, you can also search. So I'm gonna search for product, product. So yeah, so demo book, okay, paid. So the amount that was paid for to buy the book. So we can come on down here. We're looking for price or something along those lines. So we've got action details, transaction details, price. And then we got action details, transaction details, transaction full amount. And I think there's also a shipping one in here. So if you're doing shipping in Kartra, you, you might wanna check for that. Let's see, ship. So here we go, so shipping cost. So in this particular case, you might wanna track how much they paid for the product and how much they paid for shipping. So what we can do here is actually enter a formula. And for the sake of example, I wanna show you this. So actually, let me select the price first, apparently. So action, transaction, details, price. And I'll come out to the front now, now equals, and then we can do plus. So if you're familiar with Google Sheets or Excel at all, if you, you can create formulas by entering the equal sign and then you can do your, your math at the end here. So that, that can be helpful to you. So let's go with that. And then we got shipping as well, ship. So we wanna include both the price of the product and the price for the shipping and get the total cost some, somebody, somebody paid. Now you could of course record whatever value is important to you. Um, maybe you have one Maybe, maybe you separate this out. Maybe you have product price and then shipping price. So you have two columns or something along those lines. Definitely make this spreadsheet work for you and what you need. All right, so then we got first name. That's easy enough. We got buyer first name. And then I think there's also shipping first name. So let's uh, check shipping. So I wanna keep track of this shipping information because that's this is what's going to my fulfillment center. So I wanna do shipping first name and then shipping last name and then email. I don't know if there's a separate shipping email, let's check. No, no separate shipping email. So we'll just search for email, action details, buyer email. All right, phone, not taking their phone number down, address. Make sure we enter the shipping address and not the buyer address or billing address. So shipping address, city, shipping, city, state, shipping, state, where are we, California, shipping, shipping, zip, shipping, country, shipping, country, United States, and then process by when and notes. I'm gonna leave those blank because somebody's going to personally fill them in when they process the order. So we'll hit continue now. And okay, it looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, let's send the test to Google Sheets. See if it pops over to our spreadsheet. And there it is right here. So we've got all the information for our order right here in our spreadsheet. And you obviously also wanna test it in real time. So 
let me hit finish and check my zap or turn my zap on and then let's go over here and actually test my order real quick and let me find my sales page order form combo let's go sales page and order form get coder link and I'll grab the link and I'm actually gonna open this in an incognito window so that way I don't have anything like cookied or catched or anything like that let's go fresh into this all right so here's my order form I'll hit continue let's enter my payment information Nathan Williams Nathan plus test at crazy marketing.com billing address city zip code oh country and state continue and then I'm in test mode so test order only and there we go on to the one-time offer and this information is not going to pass through to Zapier because we're only tracking the book orders but if you want to pass through your OTO information as well you'd set up another zap you track this product in the funnel and so on so same steps involved but you'd have to create a whole new zap in order to in order to track the other products so we just go through the funnel and so on don't need to do that here for this purpose instead we'll come over to our spreadsheet here and see if the order has come through and it hasn't come through quite yet it can take up to maybe five minutes I've seen it take 15 minutes sometimes so I'm gonna stop recording real quick and come back to you once the order has passed through all right so it took about five minutes for the order information to come through and let's take a look at it because it looks a little funky so let's spread this open here. So as you see, product name came through, demo book paid, we got an error message. And you can see in the formula bar here, it's because we're adding a word to a number. And of course that's gonna create some sort of issue. So the reason we got NA here is because there's no shipping cost. So that's something to note if your product doesn't have a shipping cost, but you're trying to add a shipping cost, it's gonna cause an error here. Uh, we got first name, last name, and then also the address information. Remember, I assigned this all as shipping info. Now for this particular product, it's actually a digital product, so there's no shipping involved at all. So the shipping information did not pass through over here to my sheet. So I kind of picked a bad example here on selecting a physical product because I selected a digital product, but you still get the idea and the concept of how it works. As long as you're shipping a physical product and you're taking that shipping information it pass those values through all right so that's something just to clarify here it, it worked you see it filled in all the fields like it should it's just i'm selling a digital product and i'm trying to track a physical product so that's the only difference here it seems to work so we're good to go and that is how you can create a, an order tracker with kartra so that we could send it to your fulfillment center and kind of keep track of your orders